All right, so now we're going to talk about the top 10 tips for navigating legal and ethical issues. So let's talk about an important topic when it comes to writing a personal memoir, navigating legal and ethical issues. So when you're writing a personal memoir, there are a number of legal and ethical issues that you really need to be aware of from copyright infringement to libel to invasion of privacy. There's just a lot of pitfalls to avoid. So how do you navigate these issues and avoid legal trouble? Well, here's the top 10 uh, that I have in a list for you, but understand, I am not an attorney. I am not offering legal advice. See, when you do a disclaimer like that, you make it someone else's responsibility to become responsible for their own actions. So one of the things that you need to do in this is learn about disclaimers, but let's go into our top 10. Number one, understand the law. You don't have to be an attorney, but you do need to familiarize yourself with relevant laws and regulations governing publishing, copyright, defamation, things like that. It's just intelligent and, and very wise to understand the law to protect yourself. Number two, obtain permissions. If you plan to use quotes, lyrics, or other copyrighted content in your memoir, you need to make sure that you have the necessary permissions. Number three, protect privacy. Be mindful of the privacy of people in your life and take steps to protect their identities and their personal information. You're there to tell your story, not their story. Number four, avoid libel. Don't make false statements about people in your memoir that could be considered defamatory. Number five, use disclaimers. Remember when I said that a little bit sooner. Uh, consider including a disclaimer at the beginning of your memoir to make it clear that your story is from your perspective. It's your opinion and what you remember. Use that as a disclaimer so that nobody believes that you are making assertions about other people. Number six, be respectful. You know, when writing about people in your, in your memoir, be respectful, avoid making negative or hurtful statements. If it doesn't need to be said, then, then go with Bambi's mom. You know, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. Uh, your memoir is your story. Number seven, consult an attorney. If you're unsure about something that you've written and you, you want to know if it might be a violation of someone else's rights, talk to an attorney about it. Protect yourself before something comes at you. Uh, number eight, always fact check everything. Make sure that the information that you provide in your memoir is true and accurate. If it is portrayed as fact, make sure it is fact. Number nine, be transparent. Now, if you, if you make changes about the facts in your memoir, be transparent about that in where you would have your disclaimer or other information like in an introduction. Just say, you know, some of this is, is fiction, some of it is fact. You might, you might say, you know, uh, I'll let you be the, the, I'll let you guess about it or something like that, but make sure that you're very clear if there's fiction in there that your reader knows that there is fiction in there. Uh, and then number 10, use your best judgment. Ultimately, the best way to navigate legal issues is, you know, be mindful, be mindful of the law, how, how you convey yourself, that you're using opinions and perspectives as opposed to facts, unless you know and can defend that they are facts. So just remember, you can tell your story in a way that is both engaging and legally sound. So let's get out there, get writing, but do it legally.